Hello, my name is Eddie Tofpik. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. Here is your daily technical analysis of LME 3 month copper and aluminium. I'll start with LME 3 month copper. A little bit of a confusing pattern yesterday. Immediately you would look at it as a hanging man pattern, a pattern that's usually seen as a bullish continuation as it sits on top of the recent rise. However, the previous session was also a bearish black crow. So on a more micro level, you could look at it yesterday being a hammer pattern, also seen as a bullish pattern, but a bullish reversal rather than a bullish continuation pattern. So the confusion yesterday was whether it was a bullish continuation or a bullish reversal pattern. Anyway, the market closed back up over the February 2011 high at 10,190. I would now like to reprise part of my commentary from the last, well, from the start of this week. I said, and I quote, we now have overhead little bar the lesser projected Fibonacci line at 10,349 until the important 50% projected Fibonacci line at 10,575. Please remember, this had capped the all time highs on a closing basis back in May this year. End of quote. Well, that lesser projected Fibonacci line seems to be the one to watch on the top side. Meanwhile, below and also thoroughly tested yesterday before moving back up, we have some interesting support levels. The July 2011 high at 99.07, the April 2011 high at 99.47, the March 2011 high at 99.95. These three had helped construct the congestion back in June, late May and late April this year, so it's best to be mindful of them. So far today, a lower open and a strong reactionary move lower, well into the previously mentioned congestion below between 99.07 and 99.95. Please be mindful that if this support goes, there might be little in the way until the September high at 97.55 and maybe even the February high at 96.17. I wrote this a few minutes ago and we're already now testing down towards the bottom end of that. So just be mindful and we've also looked like we've created a potential key reversal down today so this is one to watch very very carefully in the next few hours. LME three month aluminium. An unusual pattern yesterday. The market opened on the previous sessions low barely not making the day into a gapping lower move. The market then pushed lower still down through the lower time currently at 30.68 of the recently drawn mid-August to end of September bullish Andrews pitchfork, plus a load of other support levels, including the old upper tine, currently at 30.47 of the very shallowly bullish 2011-2015 shift pitchfork. However, very surprisingly, the market's move lower stalled at the rising short moving average, and that's currently at 30.04, and then reverted back up to make an indecisive doji cross yesterday, back within the pitchfork, but with a ginormous tail on it. Meanwhile, Target X overhead, the target for the September to October bull flag stroke halfway hesitation type pattern, seen mainly over September, still sits there. Interestingly, Target X is located on the next level of congestion beyond the high at 32.29 at 32.79. So far today, a slightly higher open with an exploratory move back up to the top side and halting just before the 32.29 congestion before backing off lower again. Well, it's really come back off again and it's gone through all those previous supports mentioned and we are very close to making today potentially a key reversal. I think we're only a couple of dollars away from doing that. So it, again, it's the short moving average currently at 30.04 that's holding this market up and that isn't very strong. The next level of support is going to be somewhere around about when we start the congestion from March to June. 2008 and that starts between about 2975 down 2974 down to 2907 